Hey, it's Keith. So somebody asked me recently, you know, how do you get around in Bali? And do you have a car? And I said, no, I only have a scooter. And what I'm driving, if you saw in a previous video, I have this thing called a Yamaha NMAX. And uh, it's a two-seater. What I really like about it is that there's a nice space underneath here to put uh, your helmet when you need to, or you can put uh, stuff. And there's a little spot over here where you can put a bottle of water. But um, one of the nice things about this is that it's a little bit higher up than some of the other scooters and there's different flavored scooters, some are bigger, some are smaller. But it gets really good gas mileage. And what I mean by that is that it's got a 6.6 .6 liter gas tank, which is equivalent to about 1.75 gallons. And I did the math on what it costs to fill it up. It's probably, uh, it's about $2 a gallon. So if I need to fill it up, it's about $4, maybe five bucks, you know, depending on uh, the level in there. And obviously I don't run it dry. So, um, and you know, people ask, you know, what does it cost to rent per month? Uh, well, this thing rents for about $80 US a month. Um, and it obviously varies depending on the time of the season, when there's demand or not. Um, and I used to have a different version, a smaller version that was a little bit less money that wasn't the, this bigger one. There's obviously different sizes. So as you're thinking about coming to Bali, I would recommend getting something a little bit bigger. It's a little bit of a nicer ride um, for me it's been. And then sometimes if I have to take a long ride, like sometimes I go down to the capital of Denpasar, which is about an hour and 10 minute ride from from Ubud, that uh, you should you should consider that. Uh, good night. So my friend's saying goodbye. So, um, and the other thing you're, you're going to consider about having is you really want to get an international driver's license. And you can get them in America at uh, AAA. Um, and it probably costs, I think it was about $30 to get a international driver's license. I think they actually call it on the, the paper. It's an international driver's permit. I don't carry it around with me all the time. I just make sure I take a picture of it like I do with my passport and I keep it on my phone. I also keep it on the cloud in case I lose my phone. So that's that. And so back to fuel economy. Like I said, this thing goes, uh, gets about 85 miles to the gallon. And there's two different ways you can get fuel here. And I'm gonna show you both ways in a second. And uh, it's really nice because you can go up and just pay uh, with cash. I don't even think they take credit cards and it's such a small amount. And someone said, Keith, you know, why don't you have a car? And uh, what you'll find in, uh, in Indonesia in particular is that the roads are very narrow here. And especially because it's on an island where um, there's really a lot of room. So people have cars, they kind of have to wiggle by a lot. And you'll see even on the road over here or any road that there's a little bit of a waiting period when two cars have to kind of go by. Anyway, uh, the MX is fun to drive. It, it sits up a little higher and um, it's really stable and it's got um, front disc brakes and rear brakes. Um, like I said, it, it runs a real, like a champ. I just want to show you something here too in a second as soon as the next scooter goes by. The exciting thing about what's happening right now in the rice fields, which I want to show you, is that we actually are starting to see rice grow. So if I go on my little ride, I just want to show you how beautiful this is. It started, right? So throughout the rice fields, it's starting to grow and if you can almost see, sometimes it's a little hard to see, but it's starting to change this nice yellow golden color, which is uh, just beautiful to pause and reflect and see. And uh, it's nice when it went from this verdant green to this, um, you know, the changing. And I feel like it's a metaphor for everything. Even the ones right here, I'll show you. They're just um, starting to sprout, which is really nice. So I was told in about another month what you're going to see here is that you'll have a bunch of people out here and they'll be cutting it down and putting it in these little, um, like, uh, I want to call it it's like a strainer or that's not really the right word. And then they'll start kind of harvesting uh, the rice, which is really exciting. I'm looking forward to it. I saw that actually the other day. But anyway, let me just show you the other two ways to get fuel and show you what that's like. This is where you can see the roads are uh, very narrow. And uh, when you see other cars trying to get by, it's a little difficult. Over there, I didn't say anything. That's a, like a little uh, bus stop over there. It's actually like a taxi stop. People can uh, go get a taxi. And another store over there. You can see.
see the rice. Junjungan It's beautiful today see that a lot. Families are uh, all lined up on their scooters, which is uh, the only means they have of getting around here. Another little store. And over here, this is the Junjunga temple right here. They have events going on. They've had the last few days, which has been really nice. At nighttime, this is really beautiful when it's all lit up. And this is a village here. Some people always ask me, you know, what is it like to live in the village? And this is it here. So this is where the people live. And they have little stores sometimes. This is somebody uh, selling food. Beep, 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 beep. with a sickle. It's like a carpenter with his hammer. Everyone's going home at the end of the day. Hey puppy. More rice fields. And over here, this is where I get my laundry done, and we'll talk about this another day. My Charisma friends. We're gonna pass this man on his truck. He's taking this slow ride home today. But the rice is in full bloom here. Again, this is planted a bit later than the other ones. Also working on a temple right over here. Lady doing some laundry. Another temple over here they're working on, the entryway, which is beautiful. Yeah, some of the masonry work here is just out of this world. I mean, not just the brickwork, but all the uh, stone and the carving and the amount of work it is See here. See the bamboo? That is scaffolding for when they do construction. They actually use bamboo to uh, hold up the homes. A lot of passing going on here. This is a really good restaurant right here. It's called Ithaca. Great food there. It's also a laundry place. There's lots of little laundry places here. That's part of the entrepreneurial spirit here. Go ahead. 
Go ahead, you can go behind me. One thing uh, everybody definitely does here is use their horn to let you know they're coming, which I think is great. condo over there or another another villa Okay, tight squeeze. Hello, rooster. Traffic jam, Bali style. on the side of the road. Then some masonry work. Convenience store. over here is where they gave the rice a haircut a couple days ago. Now they're lightly burning it. And 
over here is where they have their cremation ceremony sometimes for this particular village. Okay, we're going to stop at our first gas station. Hello. So this is one style. Hello. 10,000. So watch. our first business, a little local lady, that, uh, that's her job, there's another one right here, a couple doors down, that's like the quick stop, and sometimes they also have ones that are, they have little bottles, but they're actually sitting right there, I guess you can take them home if you wanted to, but uh, just another quick way to get gas as opposed to going where I'm going to go next, not that I need to go someplace else to not get her money, but I have to go to the supermarket anyway, so let's keep going. We also can look at the tank here that that uh, 10,000 which was essentially 70 cents almost filled half of the tank right we went from a quarter to half traffic jam up Oh, another one here which I'll show you, which is kind of interesting, is um, in America, and I think even beyond America, there's a KFC chicken. Well, they're able to do the spin-off on that. JFC. We can get a whole meal for 10.5, which is 70 cents. You want a pizza? Right there, it's 25,000 which is $1.75. Okay, coming out to the main Ubud road that goes east to west. Never ending scooters. Chicken, act chicken, which is just like Kentucky Fried, another spin on it. And I've shown you this road before. We're going up to the supermarket, the gas station's right near there. But there's plenty of banks when you need to get money out of the ATM, it's here. These are the big tour buses. And there is Arjuna the statue. You notice here sometimes red doesn't matter. Well, Juno looks pretty nice today with the light hitting. And they also have police officers over there. You can see that uh, they help uh, they help guide the traffic here too because sometimes it get a little hectic towards the end of the day. So they kind of step in and get their whistle out and I have a little uh, blown the dark baton.
you remember from the other day, we stopped over here at the Delta supermarket. arrived at their gas station. They all line up here just like horses lining up to get some water. Pretty pops their lid. And uh, on the screen you can't see but you just pay them a flat fee. You give them a 20 or 10 or 15 and you, they have little buttons on there you just they would just press you on 15 and they have a code it's super simple everybody lines up here I'm gonna uh, cut it here because I don't think you need to see this part but uh, this is a gas station here anyway we'll talk in a minute okay I just gave her 20,000 rupiah and and the tank is full. So we gave her 20, the other lady 10. That was 30,000 rupiah, and we can go essentially 85 miles. So uh, having a scooter is a really good value in Indonesia, so that's why everybody has scooters here. There are people, as you see, everywhere have cars, but the cars are obviously much smaller because the roads are small. And uh, I did see one, actually, uh, a Lamborghini about a week ago, not up here, but in the city, uh, which I thought was interesting. Uh, anyway, yeah, Delta, uh, this um, Delta Mart's right next door, but they just plug in the numbers and they go. It's a super simple system, and uh, I love its simplicity. It's uh, more and more what I love about this place. It's just pretty simple and straightforward, and you know, everyone feels safe. And the lady's got a wad of cash over there, and there's some tourists here, and they're filling up as well. So anyway, the uh, parting thoughts are is get a scooter. If you can get a Honda NMAX, get it, or something equivalent. Uh, again, those little scoopies over there are okay too. That's what I have when I first came here. The Vario is also nice. It's just a smaller size, so it'll probably get better fuel economy, but um, not by much. And um, again, I can sling a bag over my shoder or across the steering wheel here and we'll put stuff in the little trunk here. That's what I like about these, which you won't find in those guys is the trunk is smaller or even with these folks you know the when you're on the scoopy of the i'm calling it a trunk but uh, the place where you can store things is much smaller but you can always hire somebody like that if you need to bring something somewhere so it's never a worry if i think oh i need to bring something home or something like that because there's always somebody that willing to help you anyway thanks for watching hopefully this is helpful on your trip to bali i'll see you in paradise